Like most roguelikes, success in Crypta the Necrodancer is all about getting into a certain rhythm of gameplay. Of course, when talking about this game, that's somewhat of a cheap joke, but it doesn't make it any less real. For a while, it might be quite difficult to become accustomed to the rhythm of the songs that are playing through the levels. The beat might be a little slower than you are used to moving. For example, I found Stage 1 harder to maintain rhythm in than Stage 2's faster, more Muse-inspired track. That the floor starts pulsing like a disco when you've held rhythm just emphasizes that the entire point of the game is to allow the player to reach a flow state, and hopefully keep them there. One piece of advice that might help is to remember that all the enemies, like your success, are beholden to the beat, not your mood. Your success depends on what weapons and items you manage to pick up each run, and if you've earned enough diamonds to unlock those that are of the most use. I attribute my first clearing of Zone 1 primarily to the spear, which allows attacking from an extra tile away, but the armor and health didn't hurt either. Some of the items can also be a bit tricky, especially the spells which ask you to hit two directions at the same time while keeping your multiplier going. It was this request of finger gymnastics that had me quickly moving from a controller to using the arrow keys on my keyboard. Like Nuclear Throne, I preferred the PC-centric control scheme. It goes against everything I expect from such a genre, and I wonder if this will become a trend. Necrodancer suffers from what I'll call the Spelunky problem. The zones are available to play from the main menu as soon as you unlock them, but by doing so, you're jacking up the difficulty without the weapons, armor, and items you'd have acquired if you had started from Zone 1. There is a story mode and a mode that seeds all the zones together, but this zone-by-zone -zone selection is the default. I certainly would have preferred a spear or broadsword in Zone 2, I spent too much time having to make split-second decisions against new and nefarious foes, and often failing when I did so.